Think of transport networks as modes of transportation. First, there's TDM. Think of it like a commuter train. It leaves the station at the same time, riding on the same track and arriving at the same stations at the same time every day. Basically, the path is predetermined by the tracks. TDM is the same, very controlled and predictable. Next, there's packet, which is more like a driver in a car on a busy highway. Drivers can choose any road to take and when to leave, but they have no control over their arrival time. So, packet gives you more flexibility, but less control and predictability. Finally, there's MPLSTP, which is also like a driver in a car, but this driver has his own private road, so he has the flexibility to leave and arrive whenever he wants. To do so, however, he must take that specific predefined road to get there. MPLSTP gives you the flexibility of packet with the predictability of TDM. MPLSTP also allows for QoS, policing, and more because of its inherent predictability. This is why the road for most carriers leads to MPLSTP for their next generation transport networks. Keep it simple.